Hello everyone, it's uh, James from Redcage. I'm just doing a couple of uh, quick tips and tricks videos as well as some tutorial videos. And uh, continuing on what we did with the uh, the mug a little while ago, I'm going to go and uh, take that uh, mug we sculpted and I'm going to do some rendering on it today. Uh, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to change the color of the mug to make, to make it look a little bit nicer. Uh, we'll also go in there and uh, emboss a, a logo on there. Um, I would also suggest doing decals, but uh, decals, when you go into the Inventor Studio environment, don't always look as nice, and you, it's really hard to kind of match the, uh, uh, the the shine and stuff like that from the lights. So in this case, we're just going to go in and use an emboss just to make it a little bit easier and a little bit nicer. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to go and change the, uh, uh, the color there. Uh, I'm actually going to set this to glass first, just so I get a, a better weight. Uh, reality is is that it makes no difference for uh, the actual rendering, but it's nice to have it as a more realistic weight uh, for like a ceramic mug here. Okay, I'm going to set it to smooth black, however, for the color. So that's the base color. And I'm going to override the colors on a couple of faces here, uh, just by going and selecting them. And then I'm just going to go to the drop down for the appearance uh, selector to here, and I'm going to go and change that to smooth red. So that kind of gives us a good idea of the color of the mug to start with. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put on that logo, and to do so I'm going to use a work plane. So I'm going to uh, grab this work plane here. Uh, let's go and uh, create an offset work plane so it's just on the outside of the mug here. I'll uh, start my sketch. And I'm going to go and import in an AutoCAD file that actually has my logo in there. Okay, so it's just the red cage cage. Uh, I'm going to open it up. And uh, there we go. Uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going I'm to click on Next. Uh, there's an important thing here uh, to keep in mind, which is constrained endpoints. So any time that you bring in a, an AutoCAD file, you want to make sure you constrain those endpoints. Uh, you don't necessarily have to apply the geometric constraints, but definitely make sure you go and put on those endpoints. Otherwise, you will not have a solid object to extrude, uh, revolve, or do anything with. Okay? So I'm going to click on Finish. It's going to drop it in here. Uh, there's my nice logo. I'm going to window select it to grab it. Uh, then we're going to move it. I'm going to move it a little bit uh, closer into the center here. Uh, maybe something like this. So it's kind of a nice nice image here. Uh, we'll click on Done. Finish the sketch. And then I'm going to go and do an emboss. Now you can either do a, a true emboss, so it would be like a paint on top of the, the cup here, or an engrave. I'm going to I'm going to go with an engrave in this case because it looks a little bit nicer for the rendering. Um, uh, so I'll make sure I select that. I'm going to make sure I choose the solid it's going to go to. We'll grab our profile, which is going to be uh, this stuff here. There we go. Uh, I'm going to make sure that it is, in fact, facing in towards the cup so that it does actually process properly. And there we go. And I can see I've actually gone and put that in a little bit too deep. Uh, so let me go back here. I'm just going to go and change that to a slightly less... Uh, slightly less there for the depth there. That looks better. Uh, I'm going to go and turn the visibility off for this one, and I'm going to go and select uh, the surfaces here, and I'm going to change that to a different color. So let's go and set that to a white color so we can see the logo on the mug there. Looks kind of nice. All right. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go and take this into the Inventor Studio environment. And to do that, we're going to go to Environments. Click on Inventor Studio, and we can make use of some of the, the defaults that are inside of here and just render the image. Now, I know that the uh, the first one that I'm going to do here is going to be a little bit darker, and I'm okay with that, so I'm going to accept this. This is just with the current lighting scheme, which is uh, not set very uh, uh, not very bright, okay? So the inside of the cup is going to look really, really dark. Uh, that's okay for this first rendered image here. Uh, it's going to take about 30 seconds for it to finish. And then I'm going to go and do the same process again, uh, and we're going to go and, and change the uh, the actual angle we're looking at. So we're going to go to the opposite ISO, and I'm going to change it over to a different lighting scheme so that we can see inside the cup a little bit clearer. There we go. Save it. And we have that one done. Uh, we'll go to the next one here, which I said is going to be on the opposite ISO side there, so I'm just going to go and pick this one on the view cube, zoom out a little bit, uh, kind of center that so it's a little bit nicer. Uh, we'll change the lighting scheme. Uh, I'm going to go to the empty lab. Now, you could pull in the environment itself, so you can have like the mug sitting on a counter or something like that. I'm not too concerned about that at this point. It's more or less making sure the lighting is here. I can see it's going to be brighter inside the cup there, which is what I was going for here. And we'll just do a, a quick render again. Same idea. 
looks pretty good. I can see that the inside of the cup is much brighter. You'll see that it's uh, taking a little bit of time there for the ray tracing. We'll give it a second there to finish up. Uh, again, it'll probably be around 30 seconds, 40 seconds, somewhere in that time frame. All right, so it's done. So I'm going to save this one, and we'll just save this one as the dash two. There we go. And now we can take those images and use them for whatever we want. And uh, just so you can see those, just right inside of here, look at that. Click on this one, looks pretty good. Click on this one, looks pretty good. All right, thank you very much for your time.